today we're gonna see how you can create the dolly zoom or vertigo effect. For those of you who are watching me for your first time, I'm Emilio Takas and I post videos here on filmmaking tutorials, tips, gear reviews and much more. So if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to my channel and also ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Before starting with the tutorial, let's see what the dolly zoom effect is. The dolly zoom is a cinematic technique made famous in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. It was invented by cameraman Irmin Roberts to visually convey the feeling of agoraphobia by zooming in with the lens while simultaneously dolling backwards the entire camera or vice versa. In the dolly zoom or vertigo effect, the camera moves closer or further from the subject while simultaneously adjusting the zoom angle to keep the subject the same size in the frame. The effect is that the subject appears stationary while the background size changes, this is called perspective distortion. And now let's get to Final Cut Pro 10, which is the program of my choice when it comes to video editing. If you are using a different program than Final Cut Pro 10, you can click on the link here and you will see a video that I created on the fake camera movements and this will help you after you see the tutorial and you will understand the process. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and uh, I have placed the three videos that we will work on today to create the vertical dolly zoom effect. Let's see our first video. As we see, we have a drone shot that we're moving forward into our landscape. We will go into the beginning of the clip by pressing the top arrow in our keyboard and we will set the rotation to 10 and then add a keyframe. Now we see that we have blacks here and to correct that we will go into the scale all in the inspector panel and we will set the zoom until the black disappear let's say 133%. You need to make sure that in order to not lose any resolution your footage needs to be 4K if you export the video in full HD as I'm exporting right now. Now we select our clip and by pressing the down arrow in our keyboard we go to the end of the clip and we will change the rotation to minus 10 perfect now we select our clip and we go here click on crop and we select Ken Burns now we're moving forward so we're zooming in as the drone is going forward and to create the dolly zoom effect we will create the Ken Burns to create a zoom out effect. So by clicking the left click on the mouse we're adjusting where we're gonna start. So we will start here and the end of our clip is going to be the zoomed out area here. We're clicking done and let's see what the final result is. As you see we have created a very nice dolly zoom effect for our landscape. Now for the second video we're going backwards. Okay, so we will start with the same technique but we're gonna adjust it a little bit so we're selecting the clip, we go into the beginning, the rotation this time we can make it to 5 and we go to scale all, we will type 115%, we're adding a keyframe on rotation and we go at the end of the clip by pressing the down arrow in a keyboard we will change the rotation to minus 5 and then we select the clip we go in can into crop we select can burns and now we will do the exact opposite because we are going backwards in our clip we're gonna create a zoom in so the end is gonna be the red one a zoomed in place Let's make it a little bit smaller. As you make it smaller, that means that the zoom is going to be bigger. Now, if you don't see here red 
uh, and you see green, you simply switch that by clicking here. Okay, here we're good. We're clicking done. And let's see this clip now. As you see, we're going backwards, but here we're zooming in. And now for the last clip. We're going backwards. We have our subject here. Now we're not going to do anything with the rotation. We will go directly into the Ken Burns effect. So we're clicking the crop here. Also, you can click the crop into the inspector panel. We're selecting Ken Burns. And because we're going backwards again, we want to zoom in. So as you see here is green is the start. And here is the end with the red. We're going here and we're clicking the switch button. We will make the area smaller. As I said before, the smaller the area is, the bigger the zoom is going to be. And we will make it a little bit on the left and top here. We're clicking done. And as you can see, the drone is getting back, but our background is creating a good parallax effect that it's also zooming in and is going into the top left area. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button as it helps a lot. And also subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. If you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.